Uh, my name is Hui Zhou. Uh, I'm from JD.com. Uh, I'm leading an AR VR team uh, at Silicon Valley R&D Center. Today, my talk is about using AR and VR for e-commerce. So, um, let me check this. Have, have anyone heard of JD.com? Okay, some of you. So allow me to uh, have some introduction, a brief introduction. If you've never heard of JD.com, it's probably the biggest company you've never heard of. <laughs> so founded 13 years ago, now JD.com is the China's largest retailer, online or offline. So we have uh, a big product offering, pretty much everything, from uh, fresh food, electronics, uh, baby diapers, everything pretty much you can think of. And uh, last year, our revenue reached to more than 37 billion US dollars. And it was listed as a Fortune Global 500. That's the reason I say, if you've never heard of, that's the biggest company you've never heard of. So uh, nationwide, we have Fulman system, and then seven years ago, we launched the, we call it 2.11 uh, program. Essentially, that's the same day and next day uh, delivery system. So if you place your order before 11 a.m., we guarantee the delivery will be today by 11 p.m. If you place your order after 11 a.m., we guarantee the delivery will be tomorrow by 3 p.m. That's seven years ago. And today, people expect if you place your order this morning, you get your delivery by noon. OK, so uh, there's one thing I'd really like to point out that uh, at the e-commerce company in China, we don't sell fake stuff. No counterface. Probably that's a different thing from other e-commerce companies. Okay, so for online retail platform, I think we start from PC, use a browser, and then use a browser and you can uh, place your order. But it's safe to say that now we're moving to a mobile stage. Smartphones, tablets, and more and more people are using those mobile devices to do the online shopping. And also, along with smart devices like smart fridges, smart speakers, and you can also place order, right? So this is the new IoT world. And uh, another thing is for social network tools, applications like QQ and WeChat in China. Uh, how many of you actually have WeChat? Can you raise your hand? Oh, I see fair amount of it. OK, it's a surprise. Because WeChat has 1 billion users. And Chinese population is 1.3 billion. It's pretty much everyone in China use WeChat. And the company owns WeChat is Tencent, our partner. So it's very natural that we use WeChat as entry point for online shopping. And also, VR and VR could be a device as the entry point for online shopping as well. Well, that's, that's the thing I'm talking about today. So for online shopping, the primary way to describe the product probably is just like this picture, right? That's our smart, smart speaker, actually, the first generation of smart speaker. So you have a picture, you have some text, describe it, and you want the picture to be beautiful because you want to sell it. Well, that's the saying that uh, with me, right? What you say is what you get. This, this is good, this is standard, but that's not enough. Because if you want to go beyond standard, you have to look something more. AR and VR is just the right technology to push this to beyond the standard. Well, here are examples, right? For, uh, for augmented reality, maybe you want to have uh, your furni furniture or some virtual object from, from, from the dating mall, for example, to place the, in the real scene. And for virtual reality, you probably want to help people to experience immersive 360 surroundings in a completely virtual world. And of course, to do online shopping. 
So uh, there's lots of things we can try. And then I'll just have some introduction what we tried and what is our strategy in this, in this field. So our strategy is, is trying to build a platform, a platform for the complete ecosystem, which can benefit all parties, suppliers, retailer, and of course, consumers. Last year, we established an industry promotion alliance. It's the first e-commerce AR, VR industry alliance in China. And it covers upstream and downstream companies. Well, why, why did we do this? And it's, it's very obvious. And we are the leader in e-commerce, but we need help. We cannot do it by ourselves. So we need content producers, we need broadcasters, we need all the partners to work in this whole ecosystem. And of course, uh, as a retailer, we, we set up a dedicated hardware shopping channel and dedicated for AR and VR devices. And we set up a VR live streaming channel within our, our mobile app. And all this is trying to improve the customer experience, and which is the key for us. And right start from the beginning of DD.com, customer experience is a top priority for us. We also create AR, VR marketing platforms and tools and open for our partners. Okay, uh, allow me just to have some introduction what we did. Uh, we developed a, a complete VR shopping environment. Uh, it's running on Oculus Rift right now uh, in our booth. You can uh, try the demo. We say it's a complete VR shopping environment because it's not just you can view the 3D object. You can also actually uh, check the different angle and then place order and then do the transaction. And then you can expect that item can be delivered to your home. So it's complete end to end. We also set up a, a VR live streaming channel. And then we will work with our partners periodically to do core marketing. And then uh, you can view this VR 3D 360 video uh, use uh, our mobile app. You can also actually use uh, your favorite hand mount display and then to check it. And then uh, the picture show here is just a robot fighting game. Uh, it's, it's a pretty popular one in China. So that's, that's the reason we, we are streaming it. For augmented reality, we, uh, we have a JD Dream app. It is the first Chinese e-commerce Google Tango app and featured in last year in a Google Developer Shanghai event. Uh, it's listed in the Google Play Store. You can download it. It's running to use the Tango feature, and you have to use the Lavono Fab, Fab2 Pro, and which is the first Google Tango phone. How many of you have that? Oh, a few of it, right? Not, not many. So it's not a surprise. It's a very big. It's called a FAB. And uh, we have it in our booth. Well, you, you can try our demo and check it. And uh, probably you want to buy it after you try it. You never know. kind of slow for the reaction. Well, last month we launched a T program. Essentially that's a 3D modeling competition program. So why, why, why did we do this? What, what's 3D remodeling, right? So, well here is the thing. To place any virtual object, either in a VR mode or AR mode, you need the 3D model of that object or product from JD mode. And, uh, how to create that? How to create that 3D model? Well, you can hear one and then use software to, to draw it. That's what we did. We hired two professionals and work on it. And then they can generate about 20 models per day. Well, JD is a big company. We have 200 million SKUs. And our goal is to have each single SKU to have a 3D model. Uh, a little bit mass. If you have 2,000 people team every day without weekend and holiday working 24 hours, 
I need 27 years to finish all of those. That, I can tell you that's not the right way. So that's the reason, actually, we try to find a good solution in this industry. And for that program, more than 100 companies, mostly from China, also from Israel and US, participated in that event. And they, we, have the, we have the real object. They do the 3D model right on site. And then we just finished the final, uh, final competition uh, two weeks ago. And then the winners are chosen as JD partners for other so solution provider. So uh, going forward, I would say that we'll continue the, this uh, ecosystem because our, our belief is that AR and VR technology, that's, that's the way to push the customer experience to a new limit. So we'll continue this industry ecosystem uh, setup and effort, and we develop a platform for AR and open this service to our partners. And for application side, I mean, definitely the first is con consumer focused one. We continue to improve the user experience, get more information from the surrounding and then surroundings, more information from the, fr from the one uh, captured by the, by the cameras or sensors. And for placing a, a furniture, for example, a sofa or a chair uh, in your living room uh, as an AR application, it's not, it's not a new thing. It has been there many years. But the thing is, there's many challenges. So place a sofa uh, right beside the window, and then morning or evening or noon, and then the lighting is different. How can seamlessly mix that into your real environment? I mean, for example, the shadows. How, how do you render that? How do you get up the, the, the model of those? There are many challenges. That's the reason, actually, we set up the R&D center in Silicon Valley uh, 18, 18 months ago. So that's a task for me. And we, we also own a warehouse and deliver system. So enterprise level, we are open to use AR glasses for efficiency purpose. So when a worker has both hands occupied, there are some certain operations he cannot do. If they have the AR glasses, definitely this can improve the efficiency. Well, we have a booth, uh, number 114. Uh, we're happy to serve you uh, our demo, and you can drop by to check our demo. There's Oculus Rift VR shopping uh, environment demo. There's a uh, Lenovo uh, uh, AR demo. And then, uh, of course, uh, you can just look at the phone and then decide if you like it and buy it. <laughs> this, is, this is slow, really slow. So. So it's, uh, it's, thank you. And then uh, if I have questions, I think we have uh, one minute uh, or less than one minute probably for one question. Otherwise, my email is here. Happy to uh, take questions offline and then discuss with you. And any questions? It's probably time limit, only one question. OK. Seems my, uh, I answered all of those. Thank you. <laughs>